recreate a song that you like. Thanks for watching. Hit the like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit the bell icon. What is creativity? <laughs> In music, copying is central to creativity. Copying is what all musicians are doing all the time, and every piece of music you've ever heard is an iteration on some piece of music that came before it. Oftentimes, this is very direct. This is often explicit. I'm making a Dilla beat. That means Jay Dilla made a beat. I'm going to make something that sounds like that. Copying. It is central. Sometimes it's not that explicit, but it very often is. And even when you hear something that you think is like totally new and you've never heard anything like it before, 99 times out of 100, it's just coming from a musical world that you're not familiar with. And that one time out of 100, it's just sourced from a lot of different influences. So none of them quite come out above the rest and say, ah, this is what the inspiration was. So copying is central to music. Copyright law doesn't really understand this, and I wrote a whole 4,000 word essay about that. If you want to read it, link in the description. The gist is, I think that a lot of things that require permission right now should only require attribution. Like if you sample someone's song, I don't think you should have to get permission to do that. I think you should just be able to attribute it. But anyway, don't want to get too much in the weeds. If you want a bunch of stuff about that, there's the essay. And maybe I'll make a video on it someday. But going to the creative core of music, which is copying, and doing it explicitly, I think can be a great exercise to break out of writer's block for production, for making a whole track, producing a track. And this isn't something new, this isn't some idea that I'm coming up with that nobody's thought of before. In jazz, if you learn from a teacher, likelihood is, your teacher will have you transcribe solos. And that's going to be one of the central things that you do in order to learn how to play jazz solos. So you listen to some record from 1957, and you transcribe the sax solo, and you play it, and that's how you learn to jazz, right? Well. I'm saying do that with production, basically. Disclaimer, this works exceptionally well for me, probably. The reason why I am professing this and I'm such a fan of this method of breaking out of writer's block is probably because it works exceptionally well for me, so I'm biased. So just letting you know, it might not work as well for you as it does for me, but I think it's worth a shot. Basically, one of three things happens when I do this. One, I recreate this song precisely and perfectly throughout the entire thing, and I get a great production exercise, a great sound design exercise in. This is the least common outcome. Number two, I might make the whole song again, but vary a lot of things so that I now basically have a cover. This happens more often. And the most common thing that happens is that pretty early on in the process of trying to make this recreation, I stumble upon some sort of sound while I'm in the middle of sound designing a synth that I hear and I just play something and get inspired and I say, oh, wait, that sounds cool. What if I made a loop of that? And then I made a track and then that's how a track comes up. So one of those three things tends to happen and it's a great tool for me to break out of writer's block and I suggest you try it out if you're a producer who's lacking some creative juice right now. Okay, that's the whole video. Uh, pretty short, maybe not as short as you were led to believe at the beginning. I know, I know, I'm sure I've got a few of you, right? I, I, I'm sh yeah. But still pretty short video. I have more bigger videos, much bigger videos, like biggest video ever on my channel kind of videos coming up. Uh, but they're taking a really long time. <laughs> um, a video on dissonance that I'm working on, and another video about subjectivity. Both of them I've, I've written like thousands of words. The subjectivity video, I'm on the third version of the script now. Uh, who knows when it's gonna come out? I have no idea, but it is, uh, it's coming at some point. Maybe two years from now is like hard to stop. Should I even say, I don't know if I should say that. Anyway, so sometime, hopefully much earlier than two years from now, but I am working on some bigger videos. Wanted to say that because I haven't uploaded in a while and that's in part because I've been busy with other things, but also in part because I've been working on these, these other bigger videos. Okay, cool. Thanks for watching. 
if you want to leave a you know a like or a comment or hit the subscribe button or hit the bell icon and, and click all notifications you know you're welcome to do that you know no pressure you no pressure you don't have to do it you don't have to do it you could you could you don't have to please do it please okay okay bye